we back. Now today's video, I'm accepting another rebuilding challenge. Y'all know after every video, I go through all of my comments and I look for a challenge that either I really like or y'all really like. So be sure to continue to comment and continue to like comments that you do want to see me do. Now today, we're doing what we're calling a win, rinse, repeat challenge sent to us by a now let's see the rules of today's challenge now that i'm looking at it, his name might be e9 but i'm sorry i'm really bad with names but shout out to you day three of asking kenny to do a win wins repeat challenge win a chip trade your entire starter five and win it next year to do it one more time with a new starter five basically a three-peat when each year it's entirely new starter five yeah that seemed kind of difficult because he's doing a normal three-peat is challenging but if i gotta continue to get assets and flip them it's gonna be tough so what i need from you Yes, you watching this video is to send me your energy and just leave a like on the video. The more likes, the better chances that I'm successful. That's not scientifically proven, but we're going to use it in today's video. So let's hop right into it. So y'all know we don't actually do uh, real teams. We live in a fantasy world, man. So let's randomly select our team. We're going to stop right now. We're playing with the Atlanta Hawks in today's video. And let's see what number pick the Atlanta Hawks have. We are sitting pretty low. We have the 27th overall pick of today's video. We're going to tell our assistant GM, go crazy. Try to build your best version of a team, and I'm going to take over and then build my best version of the team and try to complete this challenge. Now, y'all know we are quarantined, and I'm slowly losing my mind every single day. But this spot right here, when I'm recording videos, this is what my brain is saying. You know what I'm saying? So let's try to kill today's video. As we start off, with two very good young players. Y'all know these young players are cool, but they can be building pieces to build an elite team. So we have Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brown, Lou Will, six man out there, Jared Allen, TJ McConnell, Cal, Cal Kuzma. Yeah, I really lose my mind. I almost said Cal Anderson. So yeah, Cal Kuzma, Omari Spellman, PJ Tucker. Bro, PJ Tucker just dropped this new merch. This is very, very random. And I love that I cop like three of the same hat. That's how much I really like the merch that he dropped. And it's for a good cause. It goes to help um, the food banks in Houston, you know, during this this time. So I decided that it was it was cool for me to buy that many hats because I'm helping a good cause. So shout out to PJ Tucker for trying to put on and everybody else is putting on during these hard times. So right now what I'm doing is basically looking at the trade value of all our young pieces because we can make some big splashes with Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Either that, or we can keep them and try to win a championship with them. So let's try the first official trade. Let's say we're going to trade Brandon Ingram first probably because, again, we have to continue to flip our start at five. He's on a one-year deal. I know he is restricted, but I'd rather just get rid of all of one-year contracts. So him, this year's first-round pick, and we don't even have any bad contracts on the books. We'll put Etoile Moore in it. Drummond. Spencer then what he not Whoa Carl Anthony Towns my G Carl Anthony Towns in a trade finder it made me look through the rest of this bro none of these other trades even come like no none of these other trades even come close to bringing in Carl Anthony Towns what makes this a, a trade for us or for them probably maybe their team that's rebuilding slash selling i don't know but this first round pick for them is super valuable and of course brandon ingram's value he's an all-star and they're also getting a pretty good six man so i guess it's not that terrible tra of a trade for them but i mean for us it's trying to win a championship right now that is a big time deal now we do not need jared allen anymore uh so we'll throw you know what i'm throwing scary terry right back in the trade finder and i'm throwing one of these young dudes with him i'm throwing kevin hurdle with him you know what i'm saying I see same Cleveland Cavaliers team. They're like, you know what? We don't like Lou Wheel like that, so we'll trade him away. I trust Bojan is a piece, and I'm going to trade Julius Randle. I'm going to make Bojan a small four, though. It's over. Nope, not Julius Randle. Bojan a small four goes up a little bit. Right now, we still have JB. And you know what? Jalen Brown, if I throw Jalen Brown and Julius Irvin's contract and a first-round pick, Devin Booker, Jackson Hayes, eh, that's not a great trade. De'Aaron Fox, Chris Middleton, better, better, nope, nope, DeMar DeRozan, nope, Shea and Steven Adams, nope, uh, the only trade that looks decent is this one for De'Aaron and Chris Middleton, but even that doesn't look great, so you know what, we're going to keep it moving, I've been watching a lot of NBA players live on Twitch, I'm speaking of De'Aaron Fox, I was just watching the stream before I hit record, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, that man is streaming, 
But now I'm thinking about it. He's probably in California somewhere, so it's not 3 o'clock where he's at. Uh, pretty good at Call of Duty. He has Damascus camo. And for a lot of y'all, that literally means nothing. But what that means to me is the Air Fox does nothing but play Call of Duty when he's not practicing basketball. And I, I kind of respect that because Call of Duty has been kind of it's been kind of lit lately. Uh, so let's go Julius Randle in this first round pick. That first round pick has some value, man. Three star value. So let's see what we could get. We could get Demontis Sabonis, which is cool. But unless they change Demontis Sabonis' shot tendency, which they did, it's kind of valueless because he doesn't take shots. He usually averages like like eight, nine, ten points per game. So I'll keep it moving. We have ah. Uh, this is tough. Trading for Zach Levine and Yusuf Nurkic. Big time deal. PJ Tucker, I'm sorry. You my homie and all. But uh, we're going to make that trade. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep Nurkic around. I'm going to make Carl Anthony Towns a power forward. I mean, with his stretchability and everything, the power forward position is perfect for him. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he can do pretty much anything he wants. Yusuf Nurkic is now our guy. I'm going to make Jalen Brown a or Yeah, I'm going to make Jalen Brown our small forward. Secondary position, shooting guard. And right now, our starting five is, is fire. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, well, we don't have a point guard. TJ McConnell is our point guard. But our two through five, great. Our bench, pretty good too. You know what I'm saying? We we got Bogdanovich. We still have Jared Allen. You know what? I'm probably going to keep Jared Allen unless he's on the last year of his deal. Nope. He's got a whole nother year attached. Cal Kuzma. Eh, they probably upgrade Cal Kuzma. Cal Kuzma can be used to upgrade my point guard, probably. So let's go Cal Kuzma with KCP's contract. And I'll throw that first round pick in too. Spencer Dinwiddie can be our point guard. And we also get Davis Bertans in that trade. Not bad. And, you know, Davis Bertans can be our backup four because we don't have that. So Cam Johns, I basically traded all of our young pieces to get guys that can help us win a championship now. Especially then with Zach Levine, Jalen Brown, Carl Anthony Towns, Yusuf Nurkic. And you know what? I may look at the value of Yusuf Nurkic and just see what's out there. Uh, because I like Yusuf. Don't get me wrong. I do really like Yusuf. I can't wait for him to get back on the basketball court. But if we can somehow get an upgrade, I will. And the people in my last video really told me how <laughs> bring uh, Brandon Ingram back told me how often I touch my face in these videos. And you know what? When I'm recording, I'm not really thinking about it. But I am quarantined in my own house. So me touching my face is not hurting anything because I I, I literally have not left the house. And uh, nobody has entered and nobody has exited my house. So I'm pretty safe in here. I can touch my face, you know what I'm saying, without getting myself sick. I did see the Matras Hero trade. And he's 6'7". But he's an upgrade overall-wise. So I'm going to make that deal. And Bogdanovich, we have both of the Bogdanoviches. I remember in a very old video, I thought that they were brothers. Like, when this Bogdanovich first came to the league, I guess it's not that old. He's only he's only been in the league for, what, two years now? So when he came to the league in 2017, I just swore that since they had the same last name, they had to be brothers. When in reality, that's not how things work. You know how I many people have the same last name and aren't related? Kenny. He's, he's an idiot. That Kenny? Idiot. But we're Spencer Dinwiddie, Zach Levine, Jalen Brown, Carthen Towns, and Montrez Harold. I'm going to look at Spencer Dinwiddie's trade value. Just looking. You know how we get assets and we flip them. But for the most part, I don't think we're going to get a better point guard. I see my boy Derrick Rose. I'll keep Spencer Dinwiddie for now. I see. Uh, yeah. But we, we're going to have to flip these guys later in the video anyway. So we'll take what we have now. I do think this is a championship contender and winner. So apparently we need to add more players to our team. Jante, what's up, my G? Jonte Ford is on the team, y'all. And we're going to bring in Joe Kim Noah to fill it out completely. I think that's completely a 14-man roster. Jonte Porter doing what he does best, collecting rings. I know some of y'all don't get the Jonte Porter reference, and if you don't, what a shame. Do you not watch every single video that I put out? What, do you have uh, other things to do? You should find out about that. <laughs> you should find out about that reference. It's definitely hilarious. But I decided to fire um, our coach. We weren't bad, 13 and seven, but I definitely think that a lot of that had to do with a, a coach that maybe didn't have the greatest things going on. I bet we start to win games now. Look at that. What a beautiful thing a coach and change can do. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to, to simulate. Time to make the first of three runs. I don't know what we do with this challenge if we don't win a championship this first year. So let's just pray that we do. Luka wins MVP, Ja, Lou Will, who we traded away, but he does his thing. Kawhi, most approved went to Luka. The man averaged 37 points per game, 37 point triple double. I mean, I don't, it don't, don't get much better than that. We need to look out for this team because they also won 70, uh, 66 games, which is the exact number that we won. What team are we? We are the Hawks. And 
Atlanta, Atlanta, Car Anthony Towns. There it is. I knew we were going to get somebody. All right, he averaged 17 points per game. C career, career low. All NBA team, career low. All right. <laughs> yes, 2K, do Go off, 2K, go off. Who else um, is on our team is playing pretty well, though? Zach Levine led us to score. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have a really good team. So I'm not complaining that Carthony Towns didn't average 25 because we had so many weapons, we didn't need him to average 25. We're going to shorten the rotation. Hopefully, we get out of the first round because uh, lately, that's been a struggle for my teams that I've rebuilt. We got out of the first round. Second round, we're going against the Detroit Pistons, Russell Westbrook, Shea. Uh, very decent team, bro. I like this team. Shout out to them for drafting a good team. I don't think they stand a chance against us, but that was a good team. The seventh seed, getting far. Jalen Brunson, stand up. Illinois. I think he counts as an Illinois person. I think he went to college in I mean, high school in Illinois, but he's not from Illinois. Either way, we counted him. Anthony Davis, Michael Porter Jr. Hey, we got John Tate. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got John Tate, because we knew he was going to go against bro. All right, but they're a seven seed. We're a one seed. They don't stand a chance. We're going against the other 66-win team. They have Luka. That's why they won 66. That man is a cheat code, but it did not matter. Carthy Towns averages 17 in the finals against finals MVP. Is that the lowest amount of points somebody's averaged in one finals MVP? Probably not, because it's a few years ago, Iggy won finals MVP for clamping LeBron. Either way, we are going into the offseason and uh, seeing what's up. We don't have a draft pick because we traded that away. Part one of the challenge is over. So let's see how we do this. We have to trade our entire starting five right here, right now. So Carl Anthony Towns, Paul George. It's a good start. It's a good start. You know what I'm saying? Devin Booker and Troy Brown Jr. Sabonis, Chris Middleton in the sixth overall pick. Donovan Mitchell and Kelly Oubre. I, I do like that trade. I don't know if I've ever traded for Donovan Mitchell in a video. You know, that would literally be, probably be the first time. Bam Adebayo, y'all know he turns to a 99 overall in about eight years. Klay Thompson in the fifth overall pick. Russell Westbrook and Shea. Trey Young, but they want Jalen Brown. What? Yo, I have never seen this before. Throughout the history of 2K. I have never seen this man in a trade finder trade. He's old. So that's why we're not going to trade for him because he going to mess around and retire after the year. He's got a player option for $41 million. No, I'd be crazy to make this trade. I'm giving up two of my best players for, for one year of LeBron. I can't do that trade. The only trade in my eyes that makes a lot of sense... It's not even this one because he can be a, he's an unrestricted free agent next year. So it's not even that one. It's the Paul George one. Because we're no, because no, Paul George has a player option. Do I trust that Paul George will take his player option? Probably. Nope. It says he's not loyal. So that trade don't even make sense. This Devin Booker one makes sense, though. I guess it's another one that makes sense. He's locked up. Sabonis kind of makes sense, but he only averages 13 points per game. Chris Middleton, no. I can't trade for somebody that I have to re-sign. Yo, I'm going to trade for LeBron James. Yeah, sure. That's two of my starters. I'm getting the king. Who cares? Get him another championship. Uh, so now we have to trade these other two starters. So what do we need? We need a big now. Because uh, we basically traded... Oh, my Trez is a free agent. Yo, I may have to re-sign my Trez just to flip him. We can bring Jalen Brown right back. But no, that doesn't constitute the challenge because we have to make sure those guys are gone. I don't need a great point guard for with LeBron, even though they are giving me a first-round pick, which I do love. What's another guy that I can trade for right now? I'm trading one bucket for another, and we're getting the guy that averaged 24 points per game last year, one-time All-Star, Devin Booker. Maybe he's a two-time All-Star now because... uh. 2K logic. Spencer Dinwiddie. The next starter to get moved. I think this is a trade we do. Spencer Dinwiddie and Bogdan. How did Bogdanovic play this season? 12 points per game. Great, good efficiency. Kimba Walker. Another all-star. And they're giving us a first-round pick. Deal. So all of our starters have been traded except for Montrez, who I have to re-sign and then trade. And I think we turned it into... I mean, I, 
this is just me. I am the GM of this team. I think we just turned it into some pretty good pieces. So I'm going to go straight to free agency and hopefully we can get my trades to resign. If not, kind of an L that I even traded for him in the first place. Bo Bogey, I do one back. Jonte Porter, sure, why not? Jalen McDaniel, sure, why not? Let's hope hopefully we can get my trez back. He wants 25 million. I'll I'll do that just so we don't lose him for nothing. Uh, same thing with Davis Bertans. I'm gonna bring all these guys back just to flip if we can. And uh, yes, everybody's here. Everybody came back. Perfect. And now let me flip Montrez right now because it's part of the challenge, baby. We're gonna throw that first round pick from the Kings that we just got. Give me a good center, Jalen. Oh, there's a good center, Mitchell Robinson. Um, he never really turns into like real production though because of his shot tendency and he don't actually end up getting as many blocks as you would want him to But I'll add him to the short list. I mean, it's just one un overall decrease But he's on the one-year contract Team option. Oh, okay, so we're fine with trading for him uh, But then again, his overall may go up. He's 22 But come on But come on Come on, dog. This is unfair. Point guard Kemba, shooting guard D-Book, small four LeBron, power four. I guess we're running Brandon Clark, which I'm cool with because he's a hooper. Poor Zingas and Jared Allen. We just need to fill out our roster at this point. So let me get a, a, a cheap backup small four. I'm just killing the game. And to think we're going to have to trade all these guys one more time for that third three -peat, third piece of the three-peat, I bring in uh, Justin Holiday cool and then the rest of the guys is gonna be Jonte Porter you know how things come <laughs> Jonte Porter Jalen McDaniel so LeBron doesn't even get worse I mean his perimeter defense drops to a minus that's fine the man still got 50 55 badges and the rest of these dudes are still getting better so that is a big time successful offseason especially for this challenge all right so I don't think we do more trades man I like our starting five I think our bench is cool even with TJ McConnell here um does bogey have a no trade clause I feel like he's gonna have a no trade clause. I'm gonna double check that real quick. He does, which is fine, I guess. Um, yeah, I like our team. There's no reason to make trades. We got LeBron, <laughs> Devin Booker, and Porzingis and Kemba on the same team. 70 win season for the boys. Lucas still averaging a 37 point, almost triple double. Demarcus six man, Kawhi, Kobe White, my boy, most improved. He jumped up to 12 points per game. Like, he started off at seven, nine, okay. And then we won 70 games, so of course we got rookie of the coach of the year lebron 24 and 11 let's get it bro let's go anybody else from our team making all nba team we talking about the atlanta hawks porter zingas averages a dub and you know i'm saying carthy towns made the team steal and anybody else from our old teams make it do 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 just cat huh just cat just cat all right let's see how this goes we are the one c once again as you know with 70 wins you better end up being the one c the book average 25 you let us to score him Three players average over 20. Kemba averages 16. He played his role, right? He played his role. You know, he hit his shots. At 50, 40, 90 club for Devin Booker? You already know because that's what he do. Davis Bertans was almost 50, 40, 90 on our bench. Let's shorten our rotation to eight. Uh, we got... Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that as an eight-man rotation. Let's go. Atlanta versus Indiana. This is a team we, we beat last season, so I don't feel bad about beating them this year. Okay. Let's, LeBron, let's, let's get it together, my G. We're, this is not how we do things here on my team. Oh, you're cold? Oh, you can't hit a shot? Okay. We'll put the next, next man up mentality. What are you talking about? TJ McConnell, come save this series. Uh, LeBron, G. Can we have a talk? Like, like for real. What team are we going against the Pacers? Who are you guarding, LeBron? First of all, first of all, who is even on your this team that's giving us buckets? What team are they? They're the Pacers again. Um, Kevin Love, your old teammate, is giving y'all the work. Actually, they're just a very well well rounded team. I don't, I don't know. Simcast. It's unfortunate we got a Simcast for the for the eighth seed. Ten point lead. Up by thirty. Big time scare. They we just destroyed them. Keep that same energy next game. Poor Zingas. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Elimination. You hit five threes for my center. Come on, one more game like that, and we win a championship. I'm confident. Uh, this is too close for my liking. Okay, we all bad dub. 
Easy peasy, man. Why did y'all let them dudes even do that, bro? You kind of you kind of slacking, bro. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie to you, man. You letting these young guys carry you. You fight your hey, it's finally showing, huh? We up three one. Next we're going against the New York Knicks. Dejounte Murray, Derek White, Anthony Davis, Bam out of bio. Oh snap, bro. Defensively, team is stacked. All right, let's see how this goes. Easy. I told y'all we got it that first round to go against the eight seed. I just have bad luck with ACs. I just realized that. Seku on a championship contending team. Let's get it. Trey Young is the number one option. They're down three. One more championship. LeBron wins another finals MVP. He does not retire. Only thing I need that man to do is accept his player option, and we're fine. And we're going to win the third championship. Oh, why am I in the draft? What am I doing? We don't care about the draft, right? We need to make sure LeBron, that's the one thing that's on our mind. He accepted. Brandon Clark accepted. We're straight. Now it's time to make these trades. LeBron James trade finder. Oh, brother. If these are the type of trades that LeBron James is bringing in, then we're going to have a tough Kyrie. Yo, having Kyrie might be nice. He averaged 26 last season. He's back in Brooklyn, Boston. 50-40-90 club. We got Re. Bro, Ben Simmons averaged 25 last season. He averaged 25 and didn't hit a three. It's either trading for Re or trading for Ben Simmons. I'm trading for Kyrie. I've traded for Ben Simmons in videos before, very recently. Let's go with a guy that I haven't traded for in a long time. So I'm going to make... Uh, Robert Covington is Robert Covington. It's three o'clock in the morning. I think I mentioned that, didn't I? Andre Robeson is going to be a small forward. And then we got to trade Porzingis, obviously, part of the challenge. Jalen Brown. We could go back to Mitchell Robinson. I told y'all he was in the books. He got better. Um, Bagley and Tyler Hero. I'm going to bring Amari Spellman back to the team, man. That's what we actually traded him for. Uh, but <laughs> Jimmy Butler, welcome to the squad, man. It's really for Amari Spellman. But now we trade Devin Booker in that first round pick we just got. We should probably look center here. Look for a big man. And again, we're going to keep seeing this trade. And this is not bad because Paul Millsap is an asset too, even though his overall is starting to drop. We can go young. We can go. There's a lot of options here. Shea, Clay. I think I go Clay. I don't care what the other options were. Clay Thompson, welcome to the team. So now we need to flip Kemba. And I think the last guy we have to pick flip is Brandon Clark. Drummond is kind of a cheat code in this game. If I can somehow trade for him without giving up that pick, they want Brandon Clark. Oh, I'm definitely not giving y'all Brandon Clark, though. If I can somehow trade for him and not give y'all that interesting pick, they give us Isaiah Thomas. Y'all know we love short kings around here. So now, Brandon Clark is the last piece to be moved. But I would love to see something like this. Pascal Siakam. Yo, I could probably just trade for Pascal Siakam or Brandon. Oh, no, Pascal got that bag. So if I do make a trade, it would have to be somebody not making a bag because we got a guy on a rookie contract. So it's no big deal. It's a bonus, but they want my backup too. I don't want to make this trade and give away my backup. All right, so I will trade for Mitchell Robinson, and then I'm going to flip Drummond. I'm going to flip Drummond because I believe with these two first-round picks, his value should be pretty decent. We're looking for a four. I do see Bagley who can run the four. He only averaged 15 last season. That's not ideal. Devin Booker, we can't bring back. Do I? I can actually probably build my own Siakam trade. I want Siakam on my team, so I got to find out where he's playing. He's playing in Miami. Hopefully, Miami's not a contending team. They're buying, so we probably won't be able to pull off a trade for him. But I'll try it. I'll try it. You never really know. Miami Heat, you're not really going to finesse one of the biggest finesses in history. But uh, I'm going to try it. That's a good, valuable piece. Uh, this this will give them an excess at center, understood. So what we will do is we're going to make Drummond a power forward and then trade her. You know what I'm saying? They said they didn't want another center. So we're not giving you another center. We're giving you a power forward for a power forward. And they just want a second round pick now. Finessed, finessed. So we got a new starting five, y'all. We have Kyrie, Clay, Jimmy, Siakam. And Mitchell Robinson, who, again, we don't absolutely love. But uh, at this point, it is what it is. I'll, I'll just look. I'll look for a Mitchell Robinson upgrade. But honestly, I don't think we will find one because he's on that rookie contract. And yeah, I'm right. So we won't get a new center. That is completely okay with me. We're going to bring back all of these dudes because they all ballers. Even we bring it back Bogey. 
And do we have the money? Ah. I mean, this is the last year of our rebuild. So honestly, it don't like these dudes are getting offers. It don't like these dudes are getting offers. Okay. We'll match Jared Allen, I guess. Is Bokey going to get an offer, though? Is Jante going to get an offer, though? Free AC is over. And I lost Bogey. Did I play that wrong? I definitely played that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, I definitely played that wrong. But you know what? No big deal, Bogey. Um, I wish we would have brought you back, but I, I guess I tweaked. So our lineup-wise, we're amazing. You know, we're, we're really good. We got, uh, of course, four all-stars here. Mitchell Robinson, defensive anchor. And then even off the bench, we got Jared Allen. Our bench is cool. Actually, I like our bench. I actually do really like our bench. Isaiah Thomas is going to get some... Quality minutes is what we love. Jante Porter about to get a, a ring. You know what I'm saying? He about to get another ring to attach to his a thousands he's got in previous videos. Let's see what we can get for Jared Allen. Him that big old contract now. And we're going to trade for Clint Capella and Jeremy Lamb. Just increase our depth. We threw a first round pick and that first round pick was very valuable. So yeah, this is what our team is looking like. Isaiah Thomas is going to run those 10 slot minutes. Jeremy Lamb. Um, they want Mitchell Robinson to come off the bench. I'm cool with that. Season is wrapped. We won 71. And Luka finally is averaging his triple-double. It took him long enough. He comes a third player in history to do that. Um, anybody on our team win anything? Brad Zdakis. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. We also win 71 games, so we get coach of the year. Atlanta Hawks going for the 3 P baby. What I do want from y'all in the comment section below, though, is to comment which team... Team 1, Team 2, or Team 3 did you think was the best? I'm very interested. Kyrie Irving averaged almost 30, 50, 40, 90 on the best team almost in NBA history and uh, didn't get any MVP nod. I don't know what Luka doing over there. Did his team end up as the one seed? No. Oh, they did. <laughs> they did. Okay. Whatever. Uh, Kyrie should have won MVP is what I'm saying. With those type of numbers, 50, 40, 90 club on almost averaging 30, 8, eight and a half assists, which is a career high for Kyrie Irving. Uh, come on, man. He should have won MVP. Let's be honest with each other. Pascal average 18. Let me know in the comment section which team was the best. Team 1, Team 2, or Team 3? Three. Team 3 has short king Isaiah Thomas putting in the work. Look at his per 36 numbers. It don't get better than that. Andre Robertson, clamp God. You know what I'm saying? Can't hit a shot to save his life, but clamp God. 21% from the 3. All right, Atlanta versus Washington. They got Dame. They got Laurie Marketing. But we got a God squad. So it does not matter. We get out of the first round. It's a GG. We win in a championship. Ben Simmons, a guy that I almost traded for. Let's see if he kicks our butts. He does not. I mean, he takes a game. But that ain't nothing. New York Knicks. Uh, we talked about how great this team's defense is. Bro, Lottie Walker, bro. Lottie Walker in 2K is a cheat code, bro, in uh, my league. Let's see if he's getting the opportunity in this on this team. Oh, I guess not. He's really not. Bro, I did a my league off camera where he was a part of my team. And he was putting up a lot of shots. He's having like 23 points per game on good efficiency. But I guess on this team, he don't get the chance to put up a lot of shots because he's playing with some pretty good players. Anyway, this round, 3-1, going to the finals. The, the Warriors have cat. They got Cat. They got JB. This is a team that had LeBron. And I gave them JB and Cat. And we sweep them. Oh, we didn't sweep them. I'm sorry. They took a game. They got their game. Come on, man. I, I'm sorry. I didn't want to take that game away from y'all. It didn't matter. Challenge obliterated. And when we got LeBron James, I knew it was a GG. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, man. Sunday upload. I don't know exactly what it's going to be just yet, but I try to keep the Sunday uploads super fire. So be looking out for it. Leave a like on the video. Peace.